job one of two today. Woke up at 5.30, shift starts at 6.30. Had to get my Starbucks, obviously. I do this every single Wednesday as a little treat and to motivate myself to get up. Not only is it a two job day, Wednesday is far my longest day at my other job, so it's gonna be a time. So I'm gonna get to work and keep drinking my coffee and I will check in with you soon. back home. Can I? Another video where we're trying out new angles apparently. So I'm back home. It is 10.33. I have a meeting at 11 so I do need to quickly get changed, look presentable, put some makeup on just because not that makeup defines how I feel but I'm feeling kind of crappy today just like mentally so look good feel good mentality. I'm gonna try and make that happen in 30 minutes plus make breakfast. I do still have my coffee. Starbucks thought they could pull a fast one on me and use iced coffee for my pumpkin cream cold brew. They didn't think I would notice, but I noticed. So I've been drinking it kind of slowly just because it does taste different and the cold brew just tastes so much better. Also, I really wanted to try the pumpkin chai oat milk latte because I've seen a lot of people trying that and it's really, really good. And at 5.30 in the morning, or I guess 6.30, around 6.30 by the time that I got to Starbucks. I need some caffeine, I need some espresso. So I went to go put just a shot of espresso in it and it was gonna be like $10, which is just, it's too much right now. So I went with the classic pumpkin cream cold brew, but I'm still holding out for the Irish cream cold brew. I think it is normal for them to wait to put it out a little bit after the other holiday drinks come out, but hands down my favorite drink that they make out of like any of the drinks. Anyway, you don't care. So I have a meeting at 11. I need to quickly eat and get changed, I think. I'm torn between if I wanna have cereal and some fruit or a bagel and some fruit. I don't know, I'm gonna get changed first and figure it out, but I'll show you what I end up doing. lunch and for me to prep dinner because I am unfortunately in back-to-back -back meetings today. I'm not exaggerating. I'm in back-to-back -back meetings from 11 to 7 30 minus this one hour quick lunch break which I still have like so much work to do and catch up on that I really shouldn't even be fully taking but that's beside the point because a girl needs to eat. And what's most funny about me making lunch and prepping dinner right now at 3 p.m. is that I just fed my cats dinner. So love that for them. At least there's two of us in this home that aren't stressed and can eat pleasantly throughout the day. But I gotta make this super quick. So I'm going to prep my dinner first and then luckily I'm just having leftovers for lunch, which I will show you in just a bit, but I wanna make sure I get dinner started. So I found this vegan stew recipe that I briefly talked about in my last video, my productive Saturday in my life, whatever that video was titled. There's this vegan stew recipe that I found that I'm really excited to try. And like I said, I don't get off until 7.30 and I'm not gonna have the time or the patience to cook dinner that late. And my boyfriend was so great and cooked a lot of meals last week. And even though he'll be home before I'm done, I feel about asking him um, and he's cooking us dinner tomorrow for having ramen. Anyway, all that is to say that I'm going to slow cook it. I'm gonna put it in the crock pot for the next however many hours, like five hours or so. And I'm hoping it will turn out all the same. And if not, even better, cause it'll have like longer for the flavors to develop. But we're gonna try that out. Nowhere on the recipe does it say that it can work well in a slow cooker, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> okay, so just super quick, the ingredients that I know I need, I'll double check the recipe. I'll also put the recipe down below if you would like to check it out. But we're gonna need some veggie broth. I think also some like balsamic vinegar little baby potatoes, celery, carrots, onion, and garlic. And then this recipe calls for mushrooms, but I'm not a mushroom girly, not even a little bit. So I will not be adding mushrooms, but I feel like there does still need to be something else in there. I'm thinking I might like saute up some tempeh and throw that in at the very end. I'm not gonna slow cook it. You can slow cook tempeh, but I feel like the flavor gets kind of funky sometimes. So I might cook up some tempeh for like the meat of this stew. And then after that, 
That's right, we're bringing back the fake processed dried potatoes. <laughs> and I'm not going to apologize for it. If you have no idea what I'm referring to, then go check out my last what I eat in a day up here. But the stew is intended to be served over mashed potatoes. And like I said, I love me a good potato, but I don't have time to make them from scratch. And these are absolutely delicious. So I'm not gonna make these right now because it will take like five minutes to boil water later and mix them all up. But we'll be serving the stew over top of these. So I'm gonna shut up now, throw in some clips of me prepping and chopping and cooking and putting everything in the slow cooker and then I will show you what the outcome is for dinner. And then I'll eat lunch because, oh my God, I'm hungry. I might snack on some cheese and crackers in the meantime. Oh my gosh, and lentils. Lentils are a main feature of this recipe. So those will also be in there. later I'm finally having my lunch like I said I'm just having leftovers so this is just the frozen veggie fried rice from Trader Joe's and then I also throw in actually I don't normally do this because I love this fried rice it is so so good and so easy but maybe I just didn't notice it or didn't care before but I swear there's like larger seaweed <laughs> particles in here than there usually is I actually don't know if they even used to put it in there or maybe I'm like making the whole thing up. There's a glitch in the system. I have no idea. But when I made this on Monday, because I had this for lunch on Monday as well, I just wasn't vibing with the seaweed taste. I'm not much, I mean, I've never liked seafood and just the taste of seaweed. It took me a very long time to get used to, and I only really expect it now when I'm eating sushi. And uh, although this is close to sushi, kind of, wasn't expecting it. So I added in some of their soy yaki sauce, which I think is just like a soy teriyaki ginger garlic type of thing and that masks the seaweed a little bit more and it's very good. And then I also have these Gardein chicken strips that I'm going to cut up and add to it just for a little, I think they're a decently good source of protein. Don't quote me on that, I don't remember. But just to add some hypothetical protein as well as just some more energy into this in general because I am hungry. One thing I love about living in the city is that you can find a lot of veggie items and veggie substitutes that you don't typically find in other places. Though, I mean, I feel like even when I go back home to Delaware, I'm seeing lots of newer products and things are hitting the stores quicker. It's becoming more mainstream, whatever, it's great. But I found at a store that I went to for the first time recently in Brooklyn, they had like a large bag of just these frozen chicken strips, like no sauce. Like normally when you buy these in the smaller Gardein bags, they would come with like a teriyaki sauce on the side and I'd always feel so bad like getting rid of that if I didn't use it. But they have like a giant just frozen bag of them now, which is so convenient. But anyway, I have another meeting in nine minutes. Three more meetings left to go. So it is almost four o'clock. I still have three more meetings, no time for a break. The one thing I try to do when I take lunch breaks when I'm working at home is to not sit at my desk because as much as I, I love the space, most of the time just sitting here in front of my desk all the time doesn't feel great. It's also not very productive. I deserve to have an actual break, but today, it's just not one of those days. But don't worry, I will be resting and enjoying my stew later, assuming that it's good. Hopefully it's good. The backup plan is just to order a pizza, which it's been a stressful day, so I wouldn't be mad about that, but I also don't want the time or 
the ingredients or the effort on the stew to be wasted. So hopefully it is good. Anyway, I'm going to devour this super quickly before my meeting in now eight minutes. I will check in soon. I may not be on camera, but I will, I will check in soon to tell you what's up with the stew.